I'm not really sure how to process what even happened last night. The party was fun, but I wonder what was going through Jeff's mind or how he felt. Maybe he's used to this, or maybe those cops were just dicks. Will I go out with Jeff? I really don't know. I mean, I've never even dated a black guy before. Shit. What did you think about last night? Epic. Last night got really, really crazy. The party was really fun. It sucks that the cops came. I guess a group of kids that never got invited called the cops about a noise complaint. You're joking, right? I didn't say I did it. I mean, who really has the time to just sit and... I don't know, it's just super lame. They said it was just a rumor, but I probably would have too if I were them. Like, it must suck being an outcast. Like, if you weren't there last night, you were probably at home in bed watching Game of Thrones reruns, wishing you were one of us. Sitting here drinking milkshakes after the first big party of the year. <laughs> Bitch, you've got to relax on that. I happen to like the Game of Thrones. Oh my gosh. Yeah. <laughs> it's just a show. <laughs> All right. Watch this. Excuse me? Um, yes. You look way too familiar. Like, I've seen you before. You go to Grandview High School, right? Yeah. We had class together. Oh. Yeah, I remember. But like, where are you from originally? Are you from Texas? No, I'm from Grandview, just like you. Not Texas. Then, why wear that pendant if you're not from Texas? This pendant. It's Africa. Do the two of you need anything else? No. No, but why weren't you at the party last night? Um, I don't know. What party? Oh. I just remembered not everybody got invited. But don't worry, you didn't miss anything. I'd have rather stayed in bed and watched Love and Hip Hop anyway. Love and Hip Hop, yeah, oh, okay. Again, do you need anything else? Water, another shake, maybe a history lesson? Actually, I don't mean to be racist or anything, but I dared my friend here to go on a date with a black guy. But I don't know any. She doesn't know any. But I'm sure you do. Yeah, uh, I have an idea. Um, I dare you to stop hanging out with people like her. Pay on your way out. Wow. What the heck was her problem? So sensitive. Are you okay? I'm, I'm fine. I just remembered I have something to do later. Chloe told me she saw you talking to Black Channing Tatum at the party last night. Black Channing Tatum. Mm. I was not talking to a Black Channing Tatum, but I was talking to Jeff, if that's who you mean. Jeff? Yeah. As in Jefferson? Jeffrey. Jerome. Gerald? Jeff. It's just Jeff. Just Jeff? Yeah. Well, what do you know about Mr. Jeff? Um... I mean, the cops came before we could get into a deep conversation. But from what I do know, I mean, he's nice. He's tall. He's cute for a black guy. Um, he has really, really nice skin. And he's new to Grandview this summer. Nice skin. <laughs> Maybe you should ask him what kind of lotion he uses. A bitch definitely needs the glow. Jefferson. Jefferson? Yeah. What? Jeff is short for Jefferson. Have you heard from Chloe? I have not heard from her since the party. No, I haven't heard from her. But I saw you asked if everyone was okay in the group chat last night. She was the only one that didn't respond. Maybe she's dead. 
or maybe you should call her to make sure she's not dead. <laughs> Voicemail. I'm a little worried. I might go over to her house and see if she's all right. Text me tonight. Maybe we can see Wu and Sean. All right. Bye. Bye. Oh, look who showed up. I'm sorry, I'm late. It's all right, don't even stress it. So, I hope you like ice cream. I do, actually, but... But you're lactose? <laughs> you rather grab some Starbucks? Every time I see you in school, you're always walking around with that damn cup in your hand. A white girl in her Starbucks, huh? You're a joke, you know that? <laughs> Not a joke, <laughs> just Jefferson Mamas. My name is Ashley White, and I love the beach. I love ice cream, and I love Starbucks. And I just had a milkshake before I came here. Did you really? I did, actually, yeah. It's cool. We can share a strawberry sundae anyways. You do like strawberries, right? I do. I forgot to mention, I love strawberries. <laughs> OK, cool. I'll be right back. You can just take a seat right there. OK. Here you go. Have a good day. Hi, welcome to Capital Ice Cream, our happy place. How can I help you? Yeah, I'll take a large strawberry sundae for two, sprinkles on top, two cherries, and... Uh, I said rainbow sprinkles, right? Yes. All right, cool. Yeah, that should be good. Okay. Here you go. All right, thank you. Enjoy. Thanks. Hi, welcome to Capital Ice Cream. There's only one thing that I might like more than this ice cream sundae right here. And it might be you, but we'll see how things go. Is that so? You seem to have a line for everything, don't you? Maybe I do, maybe I don't. You'll just have to find out. So, favorite food? Favorite food? Come on, you have to have something better than that. Um, what's your favorite song? Jeff. Ask me something good. What was the last song you cried to? Ask me something else. I mean, I could. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, it's cool. <laughs> Let's leave. Excuse me? I know this is probably going to sound crazy, but let's leave. Listen. I'd love to ask you questions all day long. But honestly, I'd rather take you home. Jeff, I don't know. Listen, there's this place that I go to pretty often. It's like 10 minutes away. I promise I'm not a weirdo. I just know first impressions are really important. And if you want to get to know me, you got to know this place. I can't believe I'm actually saying this, but fine, let's go. But I'm driving. That's completely fine with me. Besides, I got to bless that BMW of yours with some of this <laughs> good energy of mine. Don't tell me you forgot how to unlock Sorry. your door. I always do this kind of stuff. Come on. Are you in a rush or something? Just a little bit. Relax. So this is it? Your big surprise? You've brought me to the beach that every Grandview student goes to. OK. <laughs> what, you're not impressed? I mean, I will be if it involves food. <laughs> OK. I mean, you're still a stranger to me taking me to your home. I'm not sure if this is a surprise or a death trap. A death trap? Yeah. You're not serious. I am. I mean, technically, you kidnapping me. Is that so? <laughs> yeah. Come on, we can go over here. It really is beautiful here. Thank you for taking me. Yeah, it is. Don't even worry about it. Last night, I haven't felt that pain in a while. 
What do you mean? After you left, I just got back in my car and held my lungs out. I've never felt more embarrassed and violated until those cops just saw me as a threat. You know, when I first moved to Grandview, I hated it. And on days like yesterday, I still do. My mom, she works in the cosmetic industry and relocates whenever she opens up another location. In the last three years alone, I've been to five different high schools. I'm sure it's not hard to tell I'm always the new guy. When we were leaving Ohio, she told me we'd be here for a while and that I love it here. Crazy thing is, when we first moved here, this was the first thing I saw, this beach. And when I saw it, I told myself, I'd do my best to try and make it home. My grandmother would always tell me, where you see water, growth is nearby. I don't mean to be super deep or anything, but for some reason, I feel like I should trust you. Jeff, I don't know what to say about last night. I didn't know what to do, and I still don't know why they did that to you. Why? Yeah, you were just leaning in talking to me. Just leaning in? Because they saw a black man as a threat leaning on a BMW. <laughs> you don't know what it's like to be in my skin. See, I already know what this is. Grandview, white-ass town, privileged-ass students, Zero diversity. People don't understand. Back home where my grandmother stays, my cousins call me Uncle Thomas Jefferson because I go to white-ass schools and live in white-ass towns. And here and everywhere else I go, they don't see Jefferson. They see Jerome. They see a threat. And all I know how to be is myself, a powerful, strong black man that's invisible to others when it's convenient. <sighs> Jeff, I mean, there was a lot of underage drinking that night. And everyone knows everyone's business around here. Maybe they just didn't think you were from here. Ashley, that's exactly it. There's only one reason that would cause them to think that I wasn't from around here. It's not my height, not my weight, not my gender. Not my sex, not my religion, but the color of my skin, black. You don't know what it's like to be in my skin. You really don't. Everything just gets hard sometimes. Jeff, I, I'm sorry. It's OK, honestly. Oh, by the way, I brought you something. What? Remember the other night when you said you loved my skin? And I told you better thank God, my parents, and shea butter? Mm-hmm. Well, neat shea butter. Taking care of all your cosmetic needs. <laughs> OK. <laughs> you don't like it? No, just never seen something like it. So, what you think? We should make sure that my car is not towed. <laughs> yeah, come on. Attention when I leave I just wanna know better for better I beg and plead The grass 